and Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. We back in the same, back in the same, like cracking the same, man. Like, comment, subscribe for more. That's good. Contiana, we are going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Some news you can use. Knowledge, though, you can't get a nobody. It's called Legito, big dog. Get into that. If you ain't got into that, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for more. That's good. Contiana, we are going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, and make sure you subscribe, big dog. Get into all this good Contiana we got going on over here. Tap in with Free the Trappers. Cran, Shaw, and King. Rich Trapper, Free the Trappers, Trap Lottie, Trap Pack. You need to get you one. Go in there and tell them Rich Trapper sent you. Say, hey, man, look. Watching this dude on YouTube. His name is Rich Trapper, right? He told me to come in there and get this thing called a Trap Pack. Not the 7 point, not the 7G. That 10G. They're going to know what you're talking about. Don't worry about it, dog. Um, Yeah, but you want to get into that Trap Pack because the Trap Pack is something, something extremely serious. Gotta hydrate. Gotta hydrate. Um, but yeah, make sure you get into that trap pack, man. Make sure I get into that, man. Free the trappers, Chris Sean King. Tap in with them, man. They got all the good wops we'll to the Wookiee Band for what you need for your watch call this, man. Free the trappers, free the trappers, free the trappers, man. Make sure y'all get into them if you ain't got into them, man. Chris Sean King, free the trappers, trap lottie, trap pack, rich trapper sent you. Let them know, man. It's a whole lot of trapping going on. Get into that, man. Find me on all streaming platforms. Your love ain't for me. How little you care. I keep saying it, man. I'm slipping. I will be putting that video out today, man. Make sure y'all get into that if you ain't got into that. How little you care. The video will be coming out today, man. As soon as I get a second to sit down, I'm going to put it out, man. Y'all see, I'm still in traffic. I'm still in traffic, but I'm still doing my one two step like Sierra. So get into that. If you ain't got into that, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. Um, what else do I got to tell y'all, man? Five hundred dollars. Oops. <sighs> Your boy been running. Your boy been running. But it's five hundred dollars to the best comment between now and fifty thousand subscribers. Get into that. And T Rail over at Back on Fig said he gonna match my five hundred with another five hundred, so it's a thousand dollars when we get to fifty thousand subscribers, man. So make sure y'all tap in. Make sure y'all tap in. T Rail said he got five hundred on top of my five hundred, so we finna get into that. If you ain't got into that, make sure you get into that. You dig me? You dig me? Uh, we finna jump into this, man. Whack one hundred responds to so Lefty Gunplay not wanting his daughter to date a black man. We finna jump into this Contiano. I don't know. Further dudes that don't, man. Three, two, one. Let's go. Paper boy news here to deliver y'all that daily report. Now, I am 22 and WAC 100 went live on No Jumper, and they were discussing the conversation that Lefty had, where he said he would never let his daughter or allow her to ever date a black man, and they gave their thoughts on it. So let's talk about it. Now, WAC 100 said when Lefty said that comment, he was a hypocrite because when Wack 100 said he would never sign a Southsider to his record label due to their politics, Lefty got offended. Now Wack said when he heard Lefty say, "Dang, that is true. That is true. He got offended. He said that Wack was wrong for discriminating against Mexicans when it comes to business, but you discriminating against blacks and your other." Very interesting point. Very interesting point. Very interesting point that he'll never let his daughter date a black man he wasn't that offended because at the end of the day that's the Sereno's politics but wax said lefty claims to be a la rapper and he said in order to do that he has to have some type of allegiance with black people that's why whack 100 said lefty's been going to all of these black podcasters like back on fig as well as community. It's because he has to in order for his music to go worldwide. But WAC 100 said, do you really F with the black people? That is actually true because you can't do nothing with the, uh, you can't do nothing with your rap music if you're not loved by the black community. So that's definitely true, definitely true. Or are you just using us to promote your rap music? Because the fact that you openly said that you will never allow your daughter to date or marry a black man lets him know that you don't really F with the blacks. Now, Wack kept it 100 on this one and I totally agree with it. And he said that he be trolling a lot and he be saying reckless things on social media. But he said if he was a Southsider, 
he would not be able to say those type of things on social media because they're more structured and they don't allow those type of things to be aired out publicly and that a mass whack 100 is that a good excuse because lefty did eight to nine years in prison and maybe it transformed his mentality towards how he feels or looks at black people due to the serenial politics in prison. Now Wax said in his personal opinion, Lefty's a gimmick and he doesn't believe anything that comes out of his mouth. And the people that are hanging around him are real ones from the streets, but the only reason they're hanging out with Lefty is because they're getting paid. Now according to Wax- Y'all think that Lefty Gunplay has, um, has hired street guys to, you know, kind of like make him more valid and all that kind of stuff. Y'all think that's kind of a reach? Do y'all think that he actually is, you know, someone who can have that kind of politic around him to where those guys would just want to be around him for the sake of? Like, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think. Behind her, he won't believe anything that comes out of Lefty's mouth is because he says that he lied about how long he served in prison, as well as his position that he held on the yard for the Serenios. And Wax said the essays already exposed him because a lot of times when he said he was in jail, they proved that he wasn't. And Wax said that the Southsiders has Lefty's real paperwork. And if you find those certain individuals, they'll show you who the real Lefty is and who he's not. And Wax 100 said not knowing Lefty, he said just solely judging him off of his character on social media there's no way in hell that he held any keys to any yards and the serenios just used them as a crash test dummy because he was of no worth or value to them that's when adam responded to lefty saying that it hey that's pretty bold statements bro to say like that man's not worth nothing like they just use him for a crash test dummy and all that kind of stuff that's that's a bow one, you feel me? That's a bow one. That's basically saying that Lefty Gunplay is a basically is a nobody and was used to uh, fulfill dummy missions because that's his only position is allowed to be is he who uh, crashes out on dummy missions, you feel me? So, yeah, man, that's, that's interesting. If he knew that Rico Too Smooth was going to be at No Jumper, he would have pulled up and shut down that whole interview. And that on 22 value to them. That's when Adam responded to Lefty saying that if he knew that Rico Too Smooth was gonna be at No Jumper, he would have pulled up and shut down that whole interview. And that on 22 said, get the hell up out of here. And Wack followed up with saying he's a dope head. That's when Adam told Lefty, who the hell are you to tell me who I can and can't interview? And Wack said, that's how you know Lefty's a liar. So Lefty Gunplay was basically pressing uh, Adam 22 and was telling him like, hey, you shouldn't be doing this with this person. You shouldn't be doing this with that person. You shouldn't be around this person. You shouldn't be around that person. You feel me? Um, basically trying to dictate who can and can't go up to the no jumper platform. And understandably, Adam's like, well, you know, who are you to, to dictate what goes on on my platform and my program and all that kind of stuff? And he's like, well, I'm Lefty Gunplay, you know, I'm a Serenia rapper. Blah, blah. It's, 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 it's an interesting situation, you feel me? It's, it's an interesting situation. And this whole reputation is fake because the Serenios will never allow a dope fiend to ever hold any keys to any yard. Now, Adam said he tried to pass things up with Lefty and he told them that he's going to go live with Lush One and Brick Baby if he wanted to join that live and clear everything up. And Adam said after Lefty did a couple of interviews, he went Hollywood and he told Adam that he'll only do it if he pays him $10,000. And Adam being the businessman that he is, he said he went and looked back at Lefty's past interviews and by his calculations, those videos didn't even generate $10,000 for that person that was interviewing him. So he politely declined Lefty's request. Now Adam said that he believes the reason why Lefty charged that much for an interview is because he didn't even want to do a no jumper interview. Because he knows that when he gets up there, they're going to put him through the line of fire and ask him certain questions that he might not be prepared to answer. And Wack made a bet with Adam 22 that by the middle of 2025, the homicide detectives either going to find him somewhere or he's going to be involved in a fatal DUI or he's gonna end up messing with the wrong street ninja and they're gonna end up taking his life. Now, like I always say, my opinion don't matter, so I'm gonna leave that up to y'all down in that comment section. But y'all like- Hey man, y'all let me know what y'all think of that, man. Do y'all think that Lefty Gunplay is headed to a, a early destruction? What y'all really think about that? That's that's a pretty, pretty strong woo up of a wooty bam. That's for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Make sure and subscribe to the channel. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in that comment section. Hit all notifications to get the latest drop on my videos. It's Paperboy Newsstand. Y'all be safe and stay dangerous out there. Gow. 
All right, man, we finna get up out of here. 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 Make sure I like, comment, subscribe for more of this good, good content we got going on here at TNN, Trap News Network. Some news you can use, some knowledge you thought you can't get in college. Oh, big dog, we up out of here to the next one. Red dot slide to the left and it's free. Red dot slide to the left. Red dot slide to the left. Get some more of this chili on in. It's free. Avenue Angels. It's free. We go.